Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Lord. We praise your name, God, and we magnify your name this morning, God, because indeed you're great, and you're great to be praised, O God. All honor and all glory belong to you today, O God. Hallelujah, Jesus. All honor and all glory belong to you today, O God. We worship you and we magnify your holy name today, Lord, because we thank you and praise you for all that you're continuing to do in our lives, O oh God. We bless your name and we honor you, Lord, for your faithfulness. We we bless your name and we honor you, Lord, for your love and for your grace. We bless your name and we honor you, Lord, for being our everything, O oh God, for being our strength and our very present help in the time of trouble, O oh God. We know, God, that there's none like you in all the earth, Father God, and we bless you and we thank you for being our source, for being our strength, for being our everything, O oh God. We love you today, O oh God. We love you and we bless you today, O oh God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We celebrate the fact that you're alive today, O oh God. We celebrate the fact that you're alive in us today, O oh God. We celebrate the fact that you got up, O oh God, that you got up, Lord God, because you love us, that you got up, Lord God, because you, you, you desire us to be all that you created us to be, O oh God. You got up because in, even in the midst of our sin, we're still classified as good, O oh God, and we thank you for being a good God. We thank you for being such a good, good father to us, O oh God. We thank you, Father, for, for loving us enough to send your son to die so that we might live, O oh God. We worship you, O oh God, today. And we bless your name today, O oh God, for truly being our everything this morning, O oh God. We bless your name today, O oh God, for the glory and for the joy that comes with you being alive today, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that truly it's in you that we live, move, and have our being. And that's because you are alive today, O oh God. And we thank you for being alive in us today, O oh God. We we thank you for rising up in us today, O oh God. We thank you for strengthening us today, O oh God. We thank you for building us up and encouraging us today, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, we ask you to forgive us for our shortcomings. Forgive us for our sins, Lord God. Forgive us for where we've fallen short, Lord God. Forgive us for where we've missed it, Lord God, and seeking to live for you, O oh God. Forgive us for where we've not believed, O oh God, as we ought, in the name of Jesus. Help our unbelief today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Help our unbelief, Lord God, that we truly live for you, O oh God. Help our unbelief, Lord God, that we truly walk up right before you, Lord God, like never before. Help our unbelief, Lord God, that we'll not merely just exist, O oh God, but that we'll seek to thrive in you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you and praise you, Lord God, that this day you're canceling, Lord God, the spirit of failure to thrive in the name of Jesus in our lives. In this day, Lord God, you're canceling, Lord God, the spirit of lack that the enemy's trying to place in our lives. This day, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. You're canceling, Lord God, the spirit of failure and indifference, Lord God, that the enemy is seeking to use to keep us bound, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. This day, Lord God, we're loosing, Lord God, productivity. We're loosing superabundance, O oh God. We're loosing victory, O oh God. We're losing good success, Lord God. Father God, no longer will we walk in fear, O oh God, but Father, we'll walk by faith, Lord God, and not by sight, O oh God. No longer will we walk, Lord God, in, in fear of failure, Lord God, but instead, Lord God, we'll We'll thrive in success, Lord God. We'll thrive and increase, Lord God. We'll be the first one, Lord God, to run into where, Lord God, everybody else is running out of, Lord God. We'll be the first one, Lord God, on the scene in prayer. We'll be the first one, Lord God, with our hands raised in worship. We'll be the first one, Lord God, willing to share a word for you, O oh God. We'll be the first one, Lord God, knocking on the door, Lord God, to, to, to share your gospel with somebody, O oh God. Teach us how to be first in the name of Jesus, not for our own ego, Lord. Lord God, but teach us how to be first, Lord God, because your word lets us know that we're to compel men and women to come unto you, Lord God. That means we got to get over there and do what needs to be done. We got to get about your business, Lord God. Give us, Lord God, the resolve to be about your business at all times, Father God. Give us the resolve, Lord God, to be about your business in all that we do say and think, Father, in the name of Jesus. Give us the resolve, Lord God, to be about your business, Father God, that your name would be magnified and that you would be glorified, O oh God. Give us a resolve to be about your business, Father God, so that, Father God, even on days where our flesh may not want to do what it is that you're asking us to do, Lord God, because of the Holy Spirit that lies in us, Lord God, you'll have us in position, Lord God, to receive the blessings that you have for us, O oh God. Father, stir up the gifts in each and every one of us that you've given us every day, O oh God. Activate the measure of faith that you place in each and every one of us this day, O oh God. Father God, as you give, give, give each of us 
this day our daily bread, Lord God. We thank you for that faith being activated. We thank you for us moving by faith. We thank you for us speaking by faith. We thank you for us walking by faith. By faith, we thank you for our new campuses, Lord God. By faith, we thank you, Father God, for a full sanctuary, Lord God. We praise you for yesterday, oh God. We praise you for yesterday, Father God, because with it being Resurrection Sunday, oh God, all your children found themselves in the house, Lord God, and we had a house that was full, oh God. We declare a decree that every soul, Lord God, shall continue to return, Lord God. They shall continue to return because they'll see the value of ministry in this in this house, Lord God. They'll continue to return, Lord God, because they see you alive in this house, oh God. They sense your presence in this house, Lord God. They'll feel your love in this house, Lord God. Father God, teach us how to think outside of the box as a ministry, oh God. Teach us how to be about doing your work and your will outside of the lines, oh God. Teach us how to be unusual in our dealings, oh God. Teach us how to be unusual in our worship, oh God. Teach us how to be unusual in our service, oh God. Teach us how to be active members of a ministry that is truly outside of the ordinary and that is truly doing things differently, oh God. Father, we desire church as unusual, oh God. We desire you to do church as unusual in each of us, starting in each of us, oh God. We thank you for stirring up the gifts that you place in us, Lord God. We thank you for doing that new thing that your word speaks of in each of us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for doing it, Lord God, that a way is be made in the wilderness, oh God. We thank you for doing it, Lord God, that you'd have us off the beaten path, Lord God. We thank you for doing it, Lord God, that you'd have your way and that you'd bless and minister in and through us, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we pray, Father God, for leadership. We pray for our world leaders. We pray for our national leaders. We pray for our local leaders. We thank you for those that have just been elected into office, Lord God. We thank you for covering them in your blood, oh God. We thank you for keeping them by your power, Lord God. We thank you for strengthening them and equipping them to truly make the godly difference that you desire, Lord God, to be made in our communities, Lord God. The, the, the godly difference that you desire to be made here in Milwaukee, oh God. The godly difference that you desire to be made in Chicago, oh God. The, the, the godly difference that you desire to be made in Atlanta, Lord God. That as you expand us and enlarge us, Lord God, into our territories, oh God. That as you expand us and enlarge us into our regions, Lord God, that you'll use us, Lord God, and connect us, Lord God, with the individuals in the communities, Lord God, that, that you desire to use to make a difference, Lord God. We desire to be trendsetters in the spirit, Lord God, not for our glory, but for yours, oh God. We desire to usher in a new trend and a new season, Lord God, of seeking your face early while you may be found, oh God, of coming to you first instead of last, oh God, of coming to you with praise instead of coming to you with problems, oh God, of coming to you, Lord God, because you're the problem solver, Lord God, instead of coming to you to report about a problem that you already know about, oh God. Father God, teach us, Lord God, how to turn back to you, oh God. Give us the resolve to turn back to you, Father God. Give us the resolve to humble ourselves and seek your face. Give us the resolve to turn from our wicked ways and be all that you called us to be. Give us the resolve to stand for you, Lord God. Give us the resolve to be all that you created us to be, oh God. Give us the resolve to move by your spirit, Lord God, in every aspect of our living, oh God. Give us the resolve to lift you up in all that we do say and think, Lord God. God. Give us a resolve to be yours alone, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Give us a resolve, Lord God, to let you rule and reign in our lives, Lord God. Give us a resolve to let you sit on the throne of our hearts, Lord God. Yes, we know, Father God, that sometimes, it, that, that sometimes, Lord God, in counting the cost, it might be more than our flesh can handle, O oh God. But, Father, we know that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, Lord God. And we thank you today that all things that you called us to do shall be done for your glory, that all things that you called us to do shall be completed for your glory, O oh God, that all things that you call us to be in our community, Lord God, shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. We stand, Lord God, on faith, Lord God, for all for, and believe in you for all that you have for us to be, believe in you for all that you have for us to do, believe in you for providing every resource, Lord God, believe in you to provide every facility, O oh God, believe in you to provide every person, Lord God, believe in you to provide everything, Lord God, because your word says that my God shall supply all of my needs according According to his riches and glory, which are found in Christ Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for letting us know and understand that our riches are found in you. We thank you, Father God, for letting us know and understand that our hope is found in you. We thank you, Father God, for helping us remember, Lord God, that our joy is found in you, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for having your way. We praise you for filling us with joy, O oh God. We worship you for meeting every need, O oh God. We thank you for being Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals. We thank you for healing in the body right now. We thank you, Father God, for healing. Healing, Lord God, from sickness, healing from disease, oh God, healing and mending broken hearts, Lord God. We thank you for your strength and your peace, Lord God.
God. We thank you for eagles' wings, Lord God, mounting, Lord God, our brothers and our sisters that are going through up with, with eagles' wings, Lord God, and helping them soar above the challenges they have, helping them soar above the trials that they have and the tests that they're facing, Lord God. We thank you and praise you for doing it, God, in the name of Jesus. We praise you and thank you for having your way, God, in the name of Jesus. We praise you and thank you for providing the wherewithal, Lord God, to bless them, to make it through, God, in the name of Jesus. Teach us, Lord God, how to be supernatural today, oh God. Teach us, Lord God, how to be so in tune and in touch with you, oh God, that we completely yield ourselves to you, Father God, so that your super can overtake our natural, Lord God, and you can do the supernatural through us, Lord God. We thank you for being vessels that are chosen by you today to make a difference in somebody's life. We thank you for being vessels that are chosen by you today to speak a a word into somebody, oh God. We thank you for being us vessels that are being chosen by you today, Lord God, to make a godly impact and to make a godly difference in our communities, Lord God, to make a godly impact and difference in the lives of your people, oh God, to make a godly impact and difference, Lord God, in the nation and in the world, oh God. Father, you called us to be world changers, oh God. Use us to change the world, oh God. Use us to truly change the world today, Father God. We come against every man of depression in the name of Jesus. We bind the hands of the enemy right now. We rebuke you depression right now because the word of God says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. We thank you, Lord God, for wrapping us in joy. We thank you for giving us the resolve to put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness in the name of Jesus. We rebuke every mind-binding spirit now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, because your word declares that let this mind be in you, which also was in Christ Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for renewed minds. We thank you for strengthened minds, Lord God. We thank you for revived minds, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for minds that are set, Lord God, like flint, Lord God, on completing your will and having your way, O God. We come against, Lord God, confusion of every sort in the name of Jesus. Father God, your word declares there's one Lord, one faith, and one baptism, and one Lord that's above all and in all and through you all in the name of Jesus. You have your way, God, in Jesus' name. You move by your spirit in Jesus' name. We come against the attacks on marriages now in the name of Jesus. Right now, we bind the hands of the enemy in the name of Jesus that's seeking to attack the marriage. Lord, we thank you for taking your proper place in marriage, Lord God. We thank you for being the center and being the foundation, Lord God, in every marriage today, God, in the name of Jesus. Every marriage is thriving, Lord God. We thank you for blessing us to thrive even the more as you position yourself as the center and foundation. Every marriage is in trouble, Lord God. We thank you for turning around and saving it, Lord God, as you position yourself as the center and the foundation, Lord God. Father God, give each of us, Lord God, that are married the good sense to let you, Lord God, be the lead, to let you, Lord God, guide and direct us and order our steps, oh God. You created us, Lord God. You created our mates, Lord God. You know us better than anybody else, oh God. So give us the resolve to put our hands in your hands, Lord God, that you would lead us, Lord God, to where you desire marriage, our marriages to be, that you would lead us, Lord God, to where you desire the institute of marriage to be in the earth, that people would see it once again as the holy institution that it is, oh God. We thank you for doing it, Lord God. Forgive us, Lord God, for defiling it. Forgive us, Lord God, for not being the light that you called us to be, to help others that don't know you. See, Lord God, what marriage is all about. See what the family is all about, Lord God. We lift our children up to you today. Father God, we declare a decree that they are not a lost generation. They are not a lost cause. They are not beyond repair. They are not beyond reproach in the name of Jesus. You didn't give up on us, Lord God. So like, like you, Lord God, like the good shepherd, teach us how to go get the 99, oh God, to leave the 99 to go get the one, Lord God. Teach us how to go and get those ones that nobody else wants, Lord God. We thank you for doing it, Lord God. We thank you for initiating the, 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 the the SI initiative, Lord God, for this ministry, Lord God. Give us, Lord God, the resolve to institute that initiative, to make a spiritual impact everywhere we go, to make a spiritual impact, Lord God, by instituting, Lord God, vision in the name of Jesus. Lord God, instituting victory, Lord God, by introducing salvation, Lord God, in our neighborhoods, oh God. Teach us how to do it, Lord God, in our living. Teach us how to do it in our walk and talk, Lord God. Teach us how to do it with our gifts and talents, Lord God. Open doors of opportunity and influence, Lord God, spheres of influence, Lord God, for us to do it and for you to have your way, oh God. We thank you for victory today, oh God. We thank 
thank you, Lord God, for having your way today, Father. We thank you for hearing and answering our prayers today, oh God. Use us today, Father God, as we seek your face this morning, Lord, while you may be found. We thank you for, Lord God, for revealing yourself to us. We thank you for giving us the insight and wisdom and direction that we need today to be all that you've called us to be. We thank you for doing it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray for every member, Lord God, of this house, oh God. I pray for every member of this ministry, Lord God. You know every need, Lord God. You know every need of every member of LWM, oh God. Meet every need, Lord God. Move by your spirit and have your way in us here, oh God. Use us, Lord God, to truly be sources of salt and light in this world, oh God. Use us, Father God, in new and unusual ways, Lord God, to reach your people, Father God. Continue to open doors for us, oh God. Continue to give us the strength and the resolve to run on for you, oh God. Let us not weary in well-doing, oh God, because in due season we shall reap if we faint not, oh God. Let us become weary, Father God, because we're just getting started, oh God. Let us not become weary, Lord God, because we're just getting going, Lord God. You have your way and you renew our strength, oh God. You have your way and you bless us to be faithful, Lord God. You have your way and you bless us to be great, Lord God. Not in ourselves, but in you, oh God. And as you have your way in us, Lord God, and as you use us today, oh God, and as we commit our works unto you this day, Lord God, that your way might be established, oh God. And as we see your way begin to play out, and as we see doors begin to open, and as we see the campuses begin to manifest, and as we see souls being saved, oh God, and as we see opportunities coming our way, Lord God, we'll give you the honor, glory, and praise, and we'll rejoice, Lord God, in knowing that you're well pleased with our efforts, that you're well pleased with our labor, Lord God. We thank you for having your way today in us, oh God. We thank you for strengthening us, strengthening us and equipping us, Lord God. We thank you for calibrating us spiritually, Lord God, to be ready, Lord God, to be used by you this week, oh God. And we thank you for victory right now, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We say amen. Glory, God. Glory, 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 God. We love you today, oh God. Father God, our verse for, uh, well, rather, our, our, our verse for today, beloved, is found in, in Matthew, the 16th chapter, verse 25. If you try to hang on to your life, you'll lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake, you will save it. God is seeking, Lord. God is seeking for us to, to give up our lives. And, Lord, we thank you for the privilege of being able to give up our lives unto you. Give us the wisdom to sow our lives into you today that you might be glorified and that we might be blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day and a wonderful, wonderful, blessed week. God bless. Church on the Move, dedicated to sharing the good news of Jesus Christ through the preached and taught word, community activism and outreach, and practical ministry designed to meet needs, bless hearts, save souls, and change lives. You can sow into the ministry via our cash app at dollar sign LW Ministries 2020. That's dollar sign LW Ministries 2020. Sow your seed into the good works and good ground of Living Witness Ministries today. And thank you for helping us reach the world with the life giving way. We pray that you were blessed by today's broadcast and would love to hear from you. If you have any prayer requests, praise reports, or would like to learn more about Living Witness Ministries, you can contact us by email at livingtowitness at gmail.com. That's the word living, the number two, witness at gmail.com or by phone at area code 404-955-8846. Again, that's area code 
8846. Until next time, we encourage you to continue to live your life as a living witness.